We need men not because just because of altruism, not just because we care about women, although that's important. It's because we care about men as well. I mean, the same system that produces men who abuse women produces men who abuse other men. I see so many men, I know so many men who are victims of other men's violence, and they don't make the connection between their experience of violence at the hands of other men and women's experience of violence at the hands of men. They think it's two separate issues. They're not two separate issues. They're directly related. So if you're a man and you care about men, and you care about men's lives, you should be involved with this work. You should stand and support in solidarity with feminist women. If you're a man, especially if you care about boys, not just girls, obviously it's important to care about girls, but if you care about boys and you're an adult man and you're in a position to influence young men, if you're a father, if you're a teacher, you're an uncle, you're a oh, big brother, you're a coach, you're, you know, you're a mentor to young men and boys, what can you do to help those boys be healthier than you are, to be healthier in, in terms of understanding the diversity of the society that you live in and be able to navigate the complexities of, of gender and sex and, and race and ethnicity rather than hunkering down and defending some old order that's obviously fading, how can you, pars how can you be part of the positive change and how can you impart some of those skills and understandings to young men and boys because they desperately need adult men to do that. And I think a lot of adult men themselves need support. Because I think a lot of adult men don't have this all figured out. And I don't have it all figured out. I mean, I've, I feel like I know a lot, but I, I feel, I, I'm still learning all the time. How do you do all this? And I think it's a process that we should all be in together. And I think that, by the way, I think that men and women working together is fundamental to this. It's like, it's not, we're not enemies. We're not like taking the side of men or a, the side of women against men. I mean, this is so simple-minded, this thinking. That somehow women are aligned against us and we have to defend ourselves and what about men? It's like, are you, this is so juvenile. It's like, we need to stand together. And I think, and that, that, that would be the message that I would have to men is, is, is stand with women in, in this struggle for, for justice, for fairness, for reducing violence, for accepting differences. Stand with women and we need more men who have the courage to do that. And it takes courage, by the way. A lot of times in male culture, and it doesn't mean just 16-year-old boys. It means 50-year-old corporate executives. It takes courage and guts sometimes for a man to challenge his friends or to interrupt his friends who are acting out in sexist ways or making degrading comments about women. It takes courage sometimes for a man to literally stand with women in, the, in a physical space and, and declare their support for women's rights and for feminism. It takes guts sometimes, and I, and I appreciate that. And I, I think we need more men who, who, can, who can find the courage and the self-confidence to do that. Because to me, that's what it's about. Because if you're a guy, being one of the guys takes nothing, nothing special. Just going along with the guys, go, you know, going along with your boys, being one of the guys, that's nothing special. What takes something special is if you see your guys going in a direction which you think is wrong, is turning to them and saying, guys, I care about you, I love you, you're my friends, you're my brothers, but I can't, I can't, you can't do this, or I can't, I can't be part of this if this is going to be abusive, it's not, if it's going to be sexist or racist. I can't be part of it because it's, you know, I, you know, I... I it's, it's against my, my deeply held values for democracy and for justice and fairness. That takes so much more guts as a man than just going along with the group. And yet the guy who does it gets called soft and he gets called the wuss and he's weak. Are you kidding me? It's like topsy-turvy land. It's exactly the opposite. It takes courage and strength and leadership for men to do that. And so I think we need to say that to young men and to older men and say we need more men in Sweden society who have the courage and strength to stand up and to respond to these times in a positive and progressive way rather than hunker down in a defensive crouch. I, I mean, I think that's what we need to do to go forward.